guys, welcome back to our channel. So today, we're going to be making Disneyland tree. What are we gonna make today? We are going to make churro toffee, one of our favorites, churros, another one of our favorites, and the Jack Jack cookies from Pixar Pier by Incredibles. Let's what get to it. This? First, we're gonna be making the churro toffee. If you've never had the churro toffee, get some because it is the best thing ever. It's like a hidden gem. Step mm. one, wash your hands. Everyone should be washing their hands because Corona. So, wash your hands. Step two, get ingredients. Got our pot. Okay, so first. Now Warren's not much of a baker, so. Yes, I am. I'm better at baking than I am at cooking. We're gonna put her skills to the test. Okay, so here is the recipe that we stole from Walt Disney himself. And the ingredients are as follows. One cup of salted butter. Make sure to use that good old real butter. One cup granulated sugar. Just sugar, you know. Three tablespoons water, one tablespoon light corn syrup. Then for the white chocolate part, you're gonna have two bags of this stuff. White chocolate melting wafers, very essential. And then for the coating, you're just gonna have cinnamon, sugar, mix those bad boys together and put that on top. So we have the butter. So you guys can tell that we miss Disneyland a lot. <sighs> T. Coronavirus sucks. Because I want to be in Disneyland right now. I don't want to be making this stuff at my house. I want to be spending all my money on all the treats at Disneyland. Since we can't do that, we decided to hook you up with some of Walt Disney's very own recipes. You're going to melt the butter in the saucepan. So, we're gonna play a little game about us. Me and Zach are gonna ask each other questions about Disneyland, and it will help you guys get to know us a little bit better. So first, Zach, tell us your favorite trip you've been on and why it's your favorite my favorite trip um clear back back when i was a boy we went in 2016 2016 around christmas time when disneyland's all decorated and you got all that stuff going on there all the good holiday stuff and it was me i went along with their family their brothers and sisters and mom and dad, and even their um, older sister, Taylor, Tea Party, who was at the DCP, um, was actually there too with us. And we had a super fun time there. We were able to see all the different holiday decorations. If anyone else has been at like Christmas time, they know it's like the most magical time. And I love Christmas anyways, Santa's real, never forget that. Oh, but the coolest thing, was they do the firework parade, you know, um, the firework show at night. And at the end, they play a song. And then all of a sudden, all this white stuff starts falling out of the sky. And it's like it's snowing on Main Street just everywhere. And it looks so cool. And it really feels like it's actually snowing. So I think that was one of my most favorite trips because they're just memorable. And that was the first time I think I've been at Christmas time too. So it was super fun. And I got to go with her. Aww. That was a good trip. I remember. So we just added in the sugar. And now we're doing the corn syrup. I can get this off. She's been trying to get the sealed cap off the corn syrup for like five minutes. Got it. 
one tablespoon. Oh, this is taking forever. It's starting to boil. <laughs> I'm guessing you wait till it's like brown, right? Because toffee's like brown. Am I right? Um, I think usually that means it burnt, but maybe we should have got a candy thermometer. Hey Siri, call Dan Kiss Hancock. Calling Dan Kiss Hancock, mobile. Oh, it's got really hot in here. Mitterbahn Nusselson. All right, we got a candy question. How do we know when the toffee that's boiling is done? So we just talked to Candace, her mother. Oh, sorry. And her mom said that you put a little bit in a cup of water, you play with it with your finger. If you can form it into a ball and it like kind of holds its shape, it's good. So no candy thermometer needed. It formed this. So Zach had to leave for a minute, but let's test this again. I'm gonna say it's done. Cause right when I put it in, it got hard, so. It's good. So now we're gonna take that off the heat. We got our good old nonstick sheet and our pan. Usually you're supposed to use wax paper, but we don't have that. So we're just gonna, oh. I burnt myself. Ow. All right, that was really hot. And I burnt myself. So. Then, you're just gonna spread it out. It's done. Oh, I only burnt myself once. So it looks like. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Sliding. You messed that one up. <laughs> All right, kids. Next. You're gonna put all that good old toffee right there into the fridge. And now you see a woman in her natural habitat doing the dishes. Let's watch. Fascinating. Okay, while well that is setting up in the fridge, we're going to be making the Jack Jack cookies. First, preheat oven to 350. Butter and sugar into a large mixing bowl. You're gonna need two sticks of softened butter in the microwave. Oops. Oh, then you're gonna need brown sugar and normal sugar. All right, Lauren. I got a question for you. What? What is your top, what are your top three rides in Disneyland and California Adventure combined? Hmm. Well, I have to say Splash Mountain has always been one of my top favorites. Except she never wants to ride it when we go. Cause we've been going in the cold a lot. We've been going all winter. We went in March. We also went in November, January, March again. And now the coronavirus has Yeah. Okay, also hate when my hair gets wet. Sorry. Sorry, don't, don't come after me. Dropped all the flour. 
So one of my top favorites has to be Splash Mountain because that's always been a favorite. And it's just one of the best rides. Another top favorite has to be Guardians of the Galaxy in California Adventure because it is literally the funnest ride in all of Disneyland. Guardians is definitely her favorite Our ride. She already put the sugar in it. Also, not to brag, I'm the best at making cookies because I used to work at a cookie shop. So, I'm the best. I'm better. He's not. And then, my third favorite it has to be Big Thunder. I thought you were going to say Incredicoaster. It was, it's honestly between Incredicoaster and Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. Now, what are your favorite rides? My top three rides. Definitely not in this order, just top three. Um, Splash Mountain, for sure. I try to ride that every time we go because I just, I love it. It's fun. It's a good time. I Actually, think Zach, something about Zach, no matter how cold it is outside, he will ride the water rides, no Every matter time. what. My rides, number one, Splash Mountain. Love that one. This is Lip Butter Cool for 15 minutes. No, we don't have the time, so we're not gonna do that. And we're just gonna see how it works. <laughs> And he got shells in it. Who is this boy? My top three rides. I got Splash Mountain up there for sure. Guardians of the Galaxy, super sick. That's That ride is so dope. We go on that all the time. And the third one, the third one's a tough one. Wait a second. Star Wars, Rise of the Resistance. Hundred oh, percent. That. That's that's like one of my new favorite rides. If you have not been on that ride, you need to. Well, once this coronavirus thing goes away, um, you definitely need to go ride that because that that ride changes lives. Lauren actually likes Star Wars now because of that. Um. So yeah, top three. Oven's ready. <laughs> also. We went to the opening day oh. of Rise of the Resistance and we waited outside the front gate, what, for like four hours. We got in line at 3 a.m. 3 a.m. We were just, and there's nowhere to sit outside. Um, so we literally just stood there. It had also been raining. It had literally been raining. So we were sitting there. We had to stand because the ground was all wet. And it was not fun. But it was super cool, actually, to be able to be, like, the first people there. Um, we were at basically the front of the line where everyone was waiting to go in the park. So it was really cool. It was actually a funny story because we went with my dad and my brother and his sister and one of her friends. And we were all waiting outside the gates for like, it was probably like 5 a.m. by this time and my dad got really hungry. So he went to the Starbucks on Main Street and he was actually just like chilling there, just like sitting there and because he was sick of standing already and just eating his breakfast. And then they start letting us in the park and we we're like towards the front of the line. And but we we're like, OK, we don't want to go in without him or else we'll lose him. So we call him, we're like, Dad, hurry, they're letting us in. And he's like, what, already? And like five minutes later, we just see him running from downtown Disney, like all the way to us. It was really fun. Oh my God. Cookie dough is better than the cookie. Anyone else agree? Then you're just gonna put them in the cups. what they look like before they go in. Jack Jack. Oh. <laughs> now they cook for 22 minutes. But also we're not making the churro bites anymore because I just don't want to. 
Maybe <laughs> we'll make a churro and Dole Whip video later. If you guys like this video, comment below and hit that like button if you guys want to see a part two of making Disney treats. All right, we just popped on over to the oven and the cookies are definitely perfect. They're done! So now we just gotta let them cool a little bit. Okay, now we're just gonna coat the toffee with chocolate and cinnamon. All right, my question is, Disneyland or Disney World? Disneyland for sure. Disneyland or Disney World treats? Well, I haven't had that many treats from Disney World. So all I know is Disneyland churros beats Disney World churros by a thousand percent. We're just gonna pop them in the freezer for a little bit longer. Okay, now we're gonna do the taste test of the cookies. Let's see what they look like. Oh, oh. nice. Can you try this for Oh. <laughs> I get the one she dropped. <laughs> Not on the floor, just on the counter. Oh. <laughs> I'd say we did pretty dang good. I wonder if this is what they actually taste like now. I know, now we're gonna have to try a real one to see what they taste like. And now that the cookie tasting is done, we got the churro toffee. Oh. Kind of actually looks like it. I'm not gonna lie, look at that. Mmm. Pretty good. Pretty good. A little chewy. Very chewy. But definitely need to be cooked longer. <laughs> 10 out of 10. The churro toffee is pretty comparable to Disneyland's. I feel like they taste almost exactly the same. Mm -hmm. Besides the chewiness. <laughs> I'm still chewing mine. Mine just stuck in my teeth. Good taste though. For the cookies, I don't know what to compare it to, but I give it a six out of 10. It, they're pretty good. I say it was a successful day. Definitely try out the churro toffee. If you guys wanna see more from us, make sure to hit that like button, smash, and I mean smash that subscribe button. Hit those notifications and you'll see us next week.